Good morning, everyone. I'm Fabio Lima. I'm the uh, Structural Heart Fellow at UCSF. I'm here with Dr. Paul Mahoney, the Section Chief and Director of Structural Interventional Cardiology at East Carolina. Welcome. So, Dr. Mahoney, I hear this is your first time at CVIS? It is. It's been a great meeting. Uh, Tom Wagner and I have become friendly over the years, and he invited me to come down here and give a couple talks. It's a, it's a really outstanding meeting. Uh, absolutely beautiful setting. Yeah. The part of the country I wasn't that familiar with, so it's nice to be in Tucson and meet with colleagues and go over a lot of exciting new topics in structural heart cardiology. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting time. A lot of things have just been happening recently with uh, approvals with Evoke and Triclub. Uh, we just got a nice, exciting panel discussion here between Maestro Club and Pascal. Did. Uh, what's your impression of what's coming through the pipeline on the M tier side? So uh, we have one more session coming up on transcatheter mitral valve replacement, but it's a really exciting time in the mitral space. We're getting more and more data about the uh, efficacy and the safety of edge-to-edge -edge repair, first with MitraClip, and now with Pascal, proving it's a class effect. We're getting more data on complex uh, patient subsets and really try to uh, fine-tune uh, fine our technique. We saw two really good cases, uh, one Pascal, one MitraClip. Uh, the operators are outstanding. In the panel, um, there's a lot of consensus on you know, optimal approaches, so I think as the tools get better, the techniques get better, and the outcomes are getting better, and that's pretty exciting. Yeah, no, it is exciting. I think now we're starting to get into this debate, and I've been seeing this at some conferences and courses that between repair, doing a mitral valve, that chest repair, or just going straight to replacement, because yeah. there's some operators now that are exercising old clips uh, and opting for new options. Sure, so that's an unanswered question, mostly. I, I will, you know, we go back to the basics on the surgical side, repair has always been preferable to replace. When transcatheter and mitral approaches came, there's a lot of excitement about replacement, but repair, in the form of mitral clip and down with Pascal, there's increasing data on mortality benefit, rehospitalization benefit, expanded lesion subsets, and the safety of the device is unparalleled. Mm -hmm. So I think we're setting up for another kind of very interesting time in structural art where should we repair, should we replace this valve? And I think we're going to learn a lot of the next three or four years about that. Yeah, I agree. And you mentioned that you came here uh, in the past to work with Dr. Wagner on starting up some of uh, the early uh, mitral cases. Is that right here? Yeah, we did some electrical surgery cases. Oh, some excellent. Cases, yeah. So in that regard, like if someone's starting out in their career, like myself transitioning now to attending life and you're getting uh, in with a group that wants to grow their structural art program, any any bits of advice for a group that wants to grow their structural art program to the next level? Sure. Uh, with proctors or with colleagues, how to team up? That's a great question. I mean, you know, today's exam procedure is tomorrow's run the bell. So, you know, one great lesson I learned, when I left fellowship, I did my trip out of the plastic and that was it. Mm -hmm. And so most of the procedures I do now, I did not learn in fellowship. Um, the field is always going, conferences like these are really important and just keep abreast of what's happening. Be very good at most of the procedures. If you can't do it or you're not ready to do it yet, either refer them out or let you develop a cohort of patients at the comfort level, start to do them, bring in somebody to help you. I like reverse proctoring. I like when people go and watch yeah. somebody do the procedure in their own lab. 